All right, so today's a really exciting day because several things. So firstly, my hair is growing really fast, so that's great. It's one step closer to that elusive man bun look that I'm going for. Secondly, I've had a shave, so you'll notice I look a bit tidier. I don't know why I didn't before. I was just, I was lazy. I was doing other things. Thirdly, I've just discovered that this camera has a wide angle setting, which I don't know if you've noticed, but this angle here is actually quite a lot wider than my usual angle. Like I'm filming and it's in the same place as it usually is, but you can see more of the room. So that's kind of cool because it's like a wide angle thing. You can sort of get more of a context of where I am. I don't know how the sound will be. I'm assuming the sound will be the same. And most importantly, today I've booked my massive trip to Asia. So in about a month's time, I'll be going to several places, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, um, and I think before, before all of that, there'll be a, a short trip to Prague as well. So very exciting, very, very exciting stuff. I'm gonna be vlogging pretty much every day. The apartments that we've got for Asia are pretty cool. There's a couple of penthouses and like some really nice um, modern looking places. So hopefully the, the videos will be kind of cool and I can show you guys little room tours and stuff. Secondly, we're on day 64 of the daily video pledges, even though I gave up before, I had a couple of days break, but we're now back on track, day 64, so that's good, we're heading towards the 90 days. They say that 90 days is like, when you get to 90 days of any particular habit, it becomes so much easier to like, to keep going with whatever you're trying to do. Anyway, so what am I doing today? Today I'm talking about memory, and for this, I think it might be more relevant to go and stand by the flashcards. Alright, so I want to talk a bit about memory and how you can improve your memory. So, I'm going to very briefly explain the technique, which is in, it's part of a course that I've taken, which is really, really good at improving your memory. And I just thought I'd, I'd tell you about this, this memory te technique, which is actually kind of a basic technique. I'm sure you already know this. I got bored of having that tripod because the lighting when I'm standing up there is terrible. All right, so memory. How can you improve your memory really, really quickly? So you've got to understand that when you, when you try and remember something, when you memorize a subject or an idea or word or even a name, it's most effective, like you remember it better when you involve other senses. So for example, if you involve your sight, your taste, your, your sense of smell and everything like that, into the same memory, it becomes more vivid and you're much more likely to remember it. This is why memories of extreme things, like for example, for example the memory of skydiving is so vivid in my mind because it involved everything. It involved my emotions, what I was seeing, what I was feeling, as in like the rush of wind up against my face, the sound and even the smell. So everything was combined into one. All of my senses were engaged, which means I remembered the thing really, really well. It's almost impossible to forget because it used all of my senses at the same time. But when we try and memorize most other things, like for example, when you're trying to learn a language or when you're trying to remember a shopping list, these things are very boring fundamentally, right? Just lists of vocab and words and words that you don't really have any connection to at all it's gonna be almost impossible to memorize them because they're so boring. But you can actually overcome this by trying to make them more exciting. So there's several things you can do. The first one is to try and visualize something really unusual or funny when, when you think about that word. So say if you're trying to remember the, say if you're trying to remember the Spanish verb for to, to draw, or to paint, pintar. To most people, if you don't know that word, it sounds meaningless, right? Pintar, it's just, a, it's just another word that you don't understand. Whereas if you try and attach a picture to it, right? So for example, imagine, vividly imagine somebody drinking a pint and they're slopping the pint everywhere, it's spilling everywhere, because pintar, pint, right? Sort of similar. Pintar, so they're, they're holding a pint, it's spilling everywhere. And as they're spilling the pint in one hand, in the other hand, they've got a paintbrush. And they're sort of, they're painting a, a drawing while holding the pint in one hand, pintar. And, and you can just imagine, vividly imagine, like the beer spilling over the paint and it sort of mixes with the colours and drips off the table. And just like that, you've created a vivid memory of somebody holding a pint, which, which reminds you of the word or the verb, pintar, and somebody painting, which is what the verb means in Spanish. And just by doing that, just by involving your sense of sight or what you can imagine vividly, it becomes so much easier to remember to the point where you'll probably find yourself not able to forget that pintar means to draw or to paint in Spanish, to paint. To draw is dibujar, I think, dibujar. Anyway, it becomes so much easier to remember when you attach that image to it. That is the most powerful memory technique of all, is just to attach visuals or like things that you can see or feel or hear to a word. Right, there's loads and loads and loads of memory techniques which I really wanna share with you guys, but 
I feel like my friend does a better job. So my friend Anthony has created a really detailed memory course which you can find in the description. If you click the link in the description, it will take you to the course where you can read more about it and read people's testimonials and stories and everything like that. But yeah, if you would like to learn more about your memory and how you can improve it, go and click that. Another thing you can do is, I've mentioned this before, but you can you can get these like really cool flashcards. It involves this collection of senses because you've got a picture the word in the, in the language you're trying to learn, Spanish, and how it sounds in phonetics. So you can quickly identify what it is by the picture and the sound. So yeah, flashcards are a really good addition if you're trying to learn anything, really. I mean, I'm trying to learn Spanish just because loads and loads of countries speak Spanish. I don't know if you know, but, you know, dozens of countries speak Spanish as their main language. So if I'm going to be travelling a lot, which obviously I am, then it makes sense to learn pretty much one of the most commonly spoken languages in the world second to English and a couple of others as well. So yeah, go ahead and subscribe. That's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Done.